Okay, here we are out on the Columbia again on the Washington side looking south and that's Hayden Island. Cool boat out there. He's got his spinnaker cell up and his main cell. trying to catch as much wind as possible to go up against that current. Another thing about this river is, you know, if you just want to stop and just relax, you really can't. I mean, unlike a lake where if you just want to stop out in the middle of the lake and take your sails down and just relax, you know, enjoy the scenery, the atmosphere on a lake. Well, here you can't do that. I mean, you just have to keep moving. You know, there's no really way to stop unless you put your anchor out, but on a lake, you wouldn't have to do that. You could just take your sails down and just stop and relax. But on this lake, on this river, you're just constantly having to move There's another cool boat with a spinnaker up. And there's actually another one here that's got a spinnaker going. So they're all using their spinnaker to catch as much wind as possible to fight that current. And here's one here that's comparable to the one I had. That's about a 25 footer. You can see him coming about there and changing his tack. But you just do that back and forth across the river. But again, you know, like if there's not enough wind you've got to use your engine to get back up river otherwise you're just going to drift if your engine doesn't start you're in a world of hurt and also if there's too much wind and you want to take your sails down you know well you're not just going to sit there you know then you're going to start drifting back again you know, unlike a lake where you could just take your sails down and just sit there. If the wind get, got to be too strong. You know, but here, trying to adjust your sails, you know, depending on the wind conditions, you know, is hard because you have that current you're fighting also. And that's messing with the direction of your boat when you're trying to adjust the sails and take them up or down depending on the wind conditions if it dies or if it's too strong well as you're trying to get up there and pull your sails down the currents turn in your boat you know and that's making it hard to adjust your sails and pull your sails down you know, because it's swinging, it's going to swing your sail around, your boom around. You know, as you're up there trying to adjust your sail, you don't need the current messing with the direction of your boat. <laughs> and a, a lake, you know, you wouldn't have to worry about that. You could just hop up there, take your sails down, and just stop if you wanted to. But you do this on this river, you're not just going to sit there, then you're going to start drifting again. So. A lake is just a huge difference than having a sailboat on a lake than a river. Uh, yeah, this 
river just isn't the relaxing, you know, peaceful atmosphere I was looking for because you're always on the move. You know, you, it's just hard to relax out there. I'd love to be able to just have a big lake like Lake Chelan and go out in the middle of it and just be able to stop and just sit there and not worry about drifting or anything. Or not having your engine start, you wouldn't have to worry about that. You're not gonna drift and get in trouble. So yeah, man, a lake's like all, it makes all the difference. Nice, huge lake. Couple cool boats there. Looking south across the Columbia to Hayden Island. He's got just enough wind. He's working his way against the current. You know, but if you just want to stop and relax, take your sails down, you can't. Because then you got to throw your anchor in. You know? And then you just, what a hassle. You know, you just can't stop and just sit there. So, it's still cool though, out there, it's still fun. But, would much rather be on a lake. It would just eliminate so many things you'd have to worry about. And just being able to just sit out in the middle of the lake and relax. I mean, that's the neat thing about the sailboat. Or at least being able to do that when you wanted to. Beautiful day out here. Boat in the foreground has his jib and his mainsail up. The other boat's got his mainsail and his spinnaker. Those spinnakers are really cool. 